Okay, welcome back to SOS. I am Staff Sergeant Badass. Here, this is this is if Vikings watching. <laughs> dum dum dum. Hey, look, it's this is cool. Uh, iron making, blacksmithing, flintlock rifles, bear hunting, and other affairs of plain living. Uh, anyways, that's if Vikings actually watching. Wanted to show them that. Uh, there's more back there. I gotta thank uh, I, Anonymous for sending this in. <laughs> I'm not gonna call you out. I don't want to do that to you. But if you want me to, I will. I know this was kind of a. They're they're gathering books for me, and I really appreciate it because I I actually sat down and started reading this one. Once I saw flintlock rifles, I had to. I, I started reading it instantly, and it was pretty crazy. I'm gonna do a thing, special videos on. Foxfire books and I, I want to know if you guys are interested in that this stuff is rad I'm telling you and I'm doing this leather craft video today I'm actually going to use the sewing machine okay and I experimented with it a little bit and this is just a standard sewing machine you can buy this anywhere and all I did was swap out the needle for a newer better needle and uh, I started sewing small pieces of leather there. Now, I'm going to try it on this project. I'm going to try and do a wallet. And you can like it or if you don't like it, it doesn't matter. But the thing is, is that uh, the leather, <clears throat> with the leather, this gives you other ideas for other things. Now, what does that have to do with survival? Okay, barter and trade, right? And... I talk about barter and trade all the time. Now, this is a skill for you to learn, and it's the reason why I do it. And uh, it's much better than just seeing guns all day and ammo, because everybody else does that, right? So you're with me. You're with me, and you know. And all I did was take, just so all of you know, I took the wallet that I'm already carrying around, and a lot of you might already have a wallet. This also goes for guys and gals. Gals carry wallets, too. Then they carry, it's like a a pocketbook type thing right and they flip it out and they've got their cards and stuff in it so there you go and it's not just for dudes uh, right so I cut out hang on a second we can't start this right now what am I doing let's go get some coffee so when you're living on the grid bad things can happen like your coffee pot could break because my coffee pot broke so, coffee pot, <laughs> rip that out of it, yes we will do leather in just a minute, but when you're living, when you're living on the grid, the best coffee to have for survival is just great value, that classic roast, you gotta get that, it's the only way you can survive. We're going to do this right now. Just add you a little bit. Just like that. Take your extremely hot water. One second. So while we wait for that, I just want to share something with you. The reason for building a wallet to carry items, one thing that's got me thinking and I wanted to share it with you. This is my family, right? And there's, this is just me and the kids that are a little bit younger in this picture here. But there's memories, right? These are photographs, right? A lot of people aren't familiar with photographs. These are pictures. My son is a lot younger in that picture. And then here's here's the three of them playing. But things like that are when you've got that first date, those memories, right? There's a reason why for survival a wallet would be so important, right? 
that exact reason. So now you kind of understand the point of having a wallet for survival. Because you can take it and there you go. You've got photographs in there, right? This, this is something and purpose of making this build is for kind of redoing what I know. And I'm getting tired of Boy Scouts. You don't like Boy Scouts, do you? Me neither. Well, I do, but <laughs> that's, that's, I'm far beyond that, so I need to move on. Oh yeah. Here, have some. Have some. There you go. There you go. Hope you feel better. Okay, let's do this. Pull you over here. Okay. Kick this thing on. Alright, I got all my lights on. Now, all I did was I just cut out a square. You can do this. Play along. I just cut out a nice square that matches up with this. I don't need this flap anymore, right? But I want to have enough space so that when you open it, it's got enough room in there to put stuff in it. So, this is going to be the outside. And when I'm done with this, I will actually put some artwork on it. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. Now, the inside is going to have to be pressed all the way along the line. It's going to be a little bit shorter. See that? It is just... On this side, see there? It's a little bit shorter on each side. So, as you fold it, you get the point, see? Now, when it's folded, what happens, it's in a straight line. Nice, nice on each side, each side, squared off. So what you do, when you sew this piece on, you bring it all the way to the end. All the way, right? And then stitch. And then... But you're going to go here, and then you're going to go here, and then you can bring this part in right here. And you're going to leave this little bit of space open right there. That's how that works. Now, to build everything for this, this piece to go inside your wallet, you start with squares. Now, what I do is I put, I'm, I'm not going to show you any IDs or anything, but I put my ID in the center of it and I give myself about a uh, half inch of space in the width. So whatever ID cards you're going to put in this thing, multiple, uh, make sure to have another half inch of space. That's all you need to do. Just put your card in there, measure another half inch, slice. There you go. And then height, it's totally up to you. Um, but this piece is going to go right onto here. All right. Then I'm going to have another one that goes right on to there. And it's like a puzzle. But I didn't want to just stop with having this piece. I wanted to add more. So I'm going to put another piece on top of this piece before I sew it to this piece. And that's how that works. Then I sew this piece to this piece. All right. So play along. All right. Let's give this a shot. Put this in here, drop your needle, and then you're going to go real slow, okay? Don't force it. Let it do its thing. It'll pull itself in when it needs to. Some of this I might actually have to hand stitch. Alright, I want you to be able to see that a little bit better. So I'm going to bring you in here so you see. There you go. And like I said, don't force it. What I do when I reach the end... Stop. Turn it. And now I'm going to go up. Like I said, don't force it. Let it do its thing. It would help if I had an industrial sewing machine. That would definitely be nice. But these little pieces, I can get these out of the way and sewed up. 
then I can move on and do other things. Okay, like that. Then uh, razor needle. You're, you can reach in here and lift this up. Just lift it up, move it out. Come over here and just cut your excess off. Now I need to, I guess I should have started down here. That would have made more sense, right? It's alright, I'll get this sewed up. Like I said, don't force it. I wish I could go faster at this. I'm going to skip some. Uh, I mean, I'm going to do one and then I'll do the other one off camera. But this is me doing one for you guys so that you can see it. And you can trim all this stuff up and make it look neater, like I said, and use your lighter and burn uh, any excess. But there's one pouch there. There's a, a complete pouch. And that'll hold up and probably last you the rest of your life. But that's some super tough stuff. Uh, so we got this piece. And we just need to make... And once the holes are already set, if you try to follow where the holes have already been punched, it's going to have an easier time sewing. That's why you do it slow. Now I've got one more piece here I've got to do. And I'm going to go ahead and sew that up real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, now I need to sew this onto here before I can sew. These are the pockets. Pockets are made. Real simple pockets, right? And then this whole contraption is going to go on top of this. And then that's where money goes and all other jazzy stuff. This is where my IDs and trash go. So you get the point on that. I might do some more dolling up into it. I might actually use... I don't know if I'm going to use rivets yet or not. That's the other thing. I, I kind of want to keep this one rivet free. And um, we get a little crazy sometimes in leather craft where uh, you start seeing a lot of rivets. <laughs> And you, it makes you wonder, could I have done that with less, you know, and this is why I'm doing it this way. It doesn't have to be super industrial. It's just going to be in my pocket. So that's, that's the main thing. It's not going to be shot out of a cannon or anything. So we don't have to worry about uh, structural integrity too much. Just other than the fact it needs to be stitched together. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get one of these stitched on. It's pretty simple. Um, just, you already have the idea it's working and uh, threading a sewing machine. I already did a video for that for sewing. So we're just going to go straight into putting this thing together and you'll see how it all looks in the end. Okay, so I've got this side done. If you can see that right there. Now I need to sew on this piece. Once I get this piece stitched on, then I can stitch this whole thing to this thing. Alright, here we go. Alright, I've got this put together now. And as you can see, that's it's pretty much that's pretty much a wallet already. I mean, I, I wouldn't even have to put the outside on it to be honest with you. But um, I'm gonna burn a little extra threads. It's kind of kind of like IPing, right? Um, IP for those of you that know what that is. All right, there's that piece. Now I need to marry that to this. And the best way to do that is to start here on this side and I need to do one line straight across all right this might be hard this might be easy I don't know yet but we're gonna find out together together as a team we will do this all right I want to what I want to do is make sure they're perfect corner right there perfect see that perfectly married together now bring it here BAM and then BAM and then rock and roll hopefully I only have a couple of problems oh it went straight through alright so far so good I said don't force it, just manipulate the leather the best you can to get it all lined up straight. Don't do anything crazy. You could break your sewing machine, you could break your needles, you don't want that. 
All right, bring her up and then check it to see if you even stitched it because I can't really see that good personally. All right, okay, fantastic. I've got a stitch there. Now I can cut off that extra piece of thread. Take my lighter, go ahead and seal that up. I don't know if I'm going to add any other things to this. I don't know yet. All right, next step. Why do you have to do this? Because you're going to need space, right? All right, the reason why, see this? See the space there, the gap? You can see that better like that. There's a big gap there between this and this side. The reason why I do that, I bring this in, boom. Then when you fold it, it folds better. It fits like a wallet, you know, and it's nice and compact. So we, to seal the end up, people would get carried away and they would just stitch the whole bottom up, you know, and it's that's not how this works. It's not how you make a wallet. Um, to stitch one of these up, you've got to leave a little bit of space there and you can bring that together and then when it comes together it'll it'll stretch in place all right so anyways I gotta do this other side real quick let me stitch this up all right now I can stitch the bottom up and this is gonna be the hardest part uh, it's just basically trying to keep it online and you gotta work with everything to make sure it stays together. Okay. At this point you might have to pull it a little bit, all right? you're going to have to jump from one huge chunk of leather to the other so that's what makes it hard to do like I see how it did that it just it bounced and jumped in I might actually stitch this up by hand when I'm done just to reassure me that nothing's going to fall out Take a look at our wallet. See how heinous it is. Nice. All right. Hey, it's not perfect, but let's get this over here a little bit. I'll back this up. See, it's not perfect, but you've got a stitch here. Okay. It was really hard to do this corner over here, but I'll come back and I'll I'll fix that up. Let's see. Oop. Boom. Get off there. There we go. Burn some of this crap. Left over. There we go. Huh. Ta da! Look, it's a wallet. Put all your money and stuff in there. Card, 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 another card. Fold it up and da da. It's in your wallet. It's a wallet. Look. Okay, size comparison. I know, I know. Everybody wants to see. All right, there you go. Size comparison. Did you see any difference? Not really. There you go. Ta-da! There's that angle too. And then, wha pow! There's your wallet. Anyways, I'll probably put some artwork on it and stuff, and you can check that out later. I might do that in the uh, thumbnail for the video. Okay, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, for survival purposes, carry pictures of your family. It's important. Even. Even if you don't like certain people in your family, um, it's it's good. It's for survival. So, if you're if if something was to break out and it was SHTF, let's just say something bad happened, like World War Three or whatever. Um, if you had a wallet that would last you for the rest of your life, versus some kind of nylon, then pictures of your family in it. And then when you're taking a break from either marauders or whatever the case is, pull pictures out of your family and take a look. What if you lose one of them along the way? Something to think about. I don't want to ruin your day, but that will prepare you as well. Because 
That's what it's all about. All right. God bless. I love you guys. Stay tuned. We'll do some more medical stuff. We were going to do one today, but I decided to do a leather craft video because so many people were requesting the wallet. How do I make a wallet? And there you go. That's how you make a wallet. All right. I want you all to have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. You're watching us, Wes. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. And take it easy.